So you came up with this, this idea to combine anatomy and art. Um, who is it aimed at? Is it aimed at scientists and people interested in anatomy, or is it a kind of a technique book for art? What do you think? Well, th part of the problem I had getting this b book published was most of these 25 years wasn't spent doing the pictures. Most of it was spent trying to th convince other people that it was a good idea, because everybody that I mentioned it to said, <laughs> that's a bit specialised. Oh, no, yeah, a very, very specialised audience. And I was like, no! It's not meant to be a first specialised audience. This was originally meant to be for other artists, and eventually I realised that it would actually be of interest to ordinary bird lovers if it was presented in the right way. And what I've tried to do is, is make it actually, conversely, a book more about living birds and dead ones. So it's all about their evolution, their behaviour, uh, their lifestyle, their habits. And I've tried to combine the very, very best, the most beautiful history images you get in historical anatomical drawings, I mean they're beautiful aren't they, uh, with up-to-date information about evolution and living birds and without any jargon, without any, uh, without any long words, everything's written in a way that anybody can understand. So a nice unique combination of art and science in a way that you know, the most ordinary down-to-earth bird lover can understand it and uh, yeah, about living birds.